And then finally, I'm going to do the last question here, number 10. I had 11 questions, but I guess we'll end off with this question here. It's rank these elements in terms of first ionization energy to the lowest. So again, very easy grade 11 problem here. So I want the highest ionization energy to lowest ionization energy. So if you recall, the ionization energy is simply the energy in which um, if I were to take away an electron from the element, uh, the energy is being uh, released, right? So for example, for boron here, for boron here, if I take away one electron here, what I'm going to get B plus plus one E minus, and I'm going to get, I'm going to input some energy here, right? So it's kind of the opposite of electron affinity here. So I'm going to boron plus some type of ionization energy is going to give me boron minus plus one E, right? It's going to, sorry, boron plus and one E minus here. So this here, again, I'm, I'm basically uh, removing an electron, but, but I'm putting energy into uh, the element here, and it's going to remove an electron, right? So as you can see, ionization, ionization energy, if I were to move, remove an electron here, um, I would get, um, um, if, I, if I'm looking at this guy's here, I have boron, boron, nitrogen, fluorine, lithium here, oxygen, beryllium and neon so they actually all exist in terms of this uh the second uh the second row here and we can know that ionization energy is going to um is going to increase as i go from left to right right so because i it's going to be a lot harder for me to take away an electron so i know that ie ie here increases increases sorry increases from left to right and if they all exist in left to right then i can basically and in what highest to lowest here i'm simply just going backwards so i can say basically it's neon and then it's fluorine and then it's oxygen and then it's nitrogen and then it's carbon and then boron and beryllium and lithium here so that will be my solution as well so this here is my correct this one here will be my solution so this here this is, um, again, from highest to lowest here, I can simply write, so lithium here, so lithium will have the highest energy, obviously, and then it's actually boron next here, and we know that uh, that's actually an exception to, uh, to, the, to the row here, and that's because I might not have enough time to get into this, but boron here is a half-filled uh, orbital here and actually hybridizes to uh, create a half-filled orbital, so boron actually has a lower ionization energy. So it's one of the exceptions, then it's beryllium, and then it's carbon, and then it'll just follow simply the, uh, the, the, uh, the cycle here. So carbon, and then nitrogen, and then f oxygen, fluorine, and then finally neon here. So this here will be my full uh, order here. So solution here is incomplete because they didn't really rank these guys otherwise. So I'm going to say solution here is, solution is incomplete. I forgot to rank other elements. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write I'm write the solution here: boron, beryllium, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and finally neon here. And uh, boron is lower, is higher. Sorry, higher in ionization energy because boron hybridizes to create a half-filled orbital. Therefore, more stable, more stable, and it will take more energy for, 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 for more energy to, uh, to take away an electron from boron. So that's the only exception to this rule here. So the solution I'm saying is incorrect because they didn't um, complete the solution here. So uh, other than that, uh, that's gonna be it for my um, my kind of stream here. I'm gonna pro I'm gonna start with this question back at uh, at 2 p.m. and we will work through the solutions here. Again, thank you so much for watching. Um, you can tune in an hour. I'm gonna do basically the exact same thing in terms of these chemistry problems here, and we will kind of work together with those problems. Again, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you if you like uh, the stuff we're doing here, again, check out the YouTube channel at one class uh, dot com, uh, YouTube dot com slash one class, and you can check us out there. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, remember to stay healthy, stay safe, have a great day. Take care.